Tomorrow is here. Ben Jones, this is your 10th season in the National Football League. 10 years. Why are you still here? Like, why are you still doing this? You've been successful. You've made some good money. You're a great teammate. You've proven everything. Why do you come back? <laughs> I'm a competitor. And the reason I play this sport is to win a championship. And I don't have that yet. And I've been close. I've won division championship, Russian titles. But I play this game to win a championship. And that's what I want to do. How is it different now than it was in your first couple years in the National Football League? The first couple years, you're trying to figure out what the NFL is about. How do you stay in this league? Because they always tell you NFL stands for not too long. And you don't want to be going across the ticker. You don't want to ever get cut. And I didn't want to disappoint my family. So I just, I found a veteran stuck in his hip pocket and kind of learned the ropes. And now it's, I've been in his 10 years and now I'm the guy who's bringing the young kids along molding this and trying to be the foundation blocks in this team to win a championship. Who was that veteran that you stuck to your first couple of years? Chris Myers. Um, getting drafted to Houston, um, playing center in college. He was a Pro Bowl center uh, multiple years in Houston and just modeling his game because I started my first three years in the league at guard and just being able to play beside him how he ran his offense, how he inducted the meetings, how he lived his family life, everything I try to pull from him. And then after him retiring, I transitioned back to center. And literally since then, I've tried to model my game after him, how to be a leader in the locker room and from having a family at home. Now, when a young guy comes in, if they're smart, they'll attach themselves to a guy like you who's had some longevity and experience. What are you looking for in a young guy that you say, that guy's got it? Yeah, you want a kid who's eager to learn and can do it day in and day out. You don't want a guy who just flashes. You want a guy who's going to come out to work every day and try to get better because this is a long season, it's a long thing. Anybody can be good for a day. You got to stack days together day in and day out. And you got to put, this offensive line is not pretty. You can have 60 great plays and one bad play and you had a bad game. So it's about being consistent and doing it day in and day out. What can you do to try and increase your consistency, I guess. What do you work on specifically to either get your body right or your mind right or some combination of both? Right. For me, being consistent is making all the calls in the other line, getting them out quick so everybody else don't have to think. My job is to get everybody set so we can go out there and, and not have to think about, hey, what, what's going on? I want to be crystal clear and guys can go out there and let it loose and have fun. Now, let me throw a stat at you. The Tennessee Titans, as it stands right now, the offensive line is the fourth oldest line in the National Football League. Does that make you feel old, personally? Uh, when I got here six years ago, I think we were the youngest. I was the oldest guy going into year five. And now being 32 years old, um, I just think we're a little wiser. We know how to work. We know we got to earn it every day. And we have a bunch of guys who are competing for that same goal. We want to win a championship. It's got to be useful, too, that you've grown up together. So many people on this offensive line know each other, know the ins and outs, because that chemistry is so important, right? Playing beside Roger and Nate now going on for three years, um, you build a bond. You kind of know where they're going to be, but you still got to earn it every day. No matter our success over the past couple of years, we want to be better. We want to be the Russian title. We're trying to win the championship. It's not just, oh, win the division, win home game. We want to take it all the way, and we're just doing building blocks. and. As an older guy, you're taking it one play at a time.